In this video, we are going to solve YC2020 question number 4. And if today is your first time on this channel, can you subscribe and then hit on the notification bell so that anytime we upload a video, you are going to get a notification from your phone. Now let's start with the video. Now, this is what dropped in YC2020 question number 4 and we are here to solve it. So kindly stay tuned and then let's solve this question. A cone and a pyramid have equal height and volumes. If the base area of the pyramid is 154 cm squared, find the radius of the cone. And B, a spherical board of radius RCM is a quarter full when 6 liters of water is poured into it. Calculate correct to the nearest whole number, the diameter of the board. Now let's start with question number four. A cone and a pyramid have equal height and volumes. If the base area of the pyramid is 154 cm squared, find the radius of the cone. Now, volume of a cone, volume of a cone is equal to one third pi r square each. And volume of a pyramid of a pyramid equals one third times the base area times height. That is the volume of a pyramid of oh, sorry is one third. But the base area is 154 centimeters squared. So base area is equal to 154 centimeters squared. So you are going to replace the base area, which is 154 centimeters squared, to what is over here. So we are going to get volume of the pyramid is equal to one third times one hundred and fifty four times height, which we are going to get from the pyramid to be equal to one fifty four over three times each. Now this is what we are having for the volume of a pyramid. So the question is saying a cone and a pyramid have equal height and volume. So if they have equal height and volume, then you are going to equate the volume of the cone and the volume of a pyramid. So what we get, and then we make our subject to get the radius. So now volume of a pyramid is equal to 154 each over. So it's equal to volume of the cone is one third pi r square each. Now, 3 is the denominator over here. So we are going to multiply through the 3 so that the denominator will move off. The, when we do that, we are going to get 154 each is equal to 5 r square each. Now, each, we can divide through by each. This will cancel this. This is going to cancel this. So that's left with pi r square is equal to 154. And pi in the question was giving us 22 over 7. So first, let's make r square the subject. So r square is equal to 154 all over pi. So this is what we are having. And r square is equal to 154 over 22 over 7. So R square is equal to the reciprocal of this the denominator times the numerator. It is 154 times times 7 over 22. Now R square is equal to 7 times 54. Let me that one hundred and fifty four times seven, we are going to get thousand and seventy all over twenty two. So R square is equal to 
1570 divided by 22. I'm going to divide 49. And we want R, which is the radius. So we are going to make R squared R the subject by square, taking the square root of both sides. So when we take the square root of both sides, we are going to get R is equal to the root of 49. And R will be equal to root of 49 root as 7. 7 centimeters. So this is our radius for question number 4A. Now let's move on to Question of 4B. Question number 4B. A spherical board of radius RCM. Is quarter four point six liters of water is poured into it. Calculate correct to the nearest whole number, the diameter of the hole. Now, the volume of a sphere is volume of a sphere one four. That is 4 is equal to 2 third pi r squared. And the question is saying it's now quarter 4, and quarter we as we know is 1 over 4. So 1 is quarter 4, we are going to get 1 over 4 times the volume, which we are going to get 1 over 4 times. 2 over 3 pi r squared. Now, when we multiply this, we are going to get 2 over 4 pi r squared. So, 2 goes into this of 1 and goes to 12 6 times. We are going to get 1 over 6 pi r squared. And it's 4 when 6 liters of water is poured into it. So we are going to equate this new volume to 6 liters of water. So this is equal to 6 liters. Now before we can proceed, we have to change this 6 liters to centimeters before we can continue. And as we know, 1 liter is equal to 1000 centimeters cube. So 6 liters will be equal to 6 times 1000 CMP. So this is going to give us 6000 CMP. Now we are having 1 over 6 pi r squared is equal to 6000. 6000. Now the denominator here is 6. We are going to multiply 2 with 6 so that the denominator will go off. So pi r squared is equal to 6 times 6,000. So pi r squared is equal to 6 times 6 is going to give us 36. 36, and we add this every zero. 1, 2, 3. Now, let's make r squared as I did here. We are going to get R square is equal to 36000 all over pi. And then pi in the question was given as 22.7. So R square is equal to 36000 all over 22.7. And then R square is equal to, we are going to find the reciprocal of the denominator and then multiply it. With the numerator, we are going to get 36,000 times 7 over 22. So r square is equal to, let me use the calculator, 36,000 times 7. I are going to get 252 
thousand all over twenty-two. So two hundred and fifty-two over twenty-two. I'm going to get whatever I twenty-two. I'm going to get one hundred and twenty-six thousand all over eleven. Now we want R, not R squared. So you are going to take the square root of both sides. So when I do that, you are going to get R to be equal to square root of 126,000 all over 11. Now, square root of 126,000 is equal to square root of 126,000 all over 11 is equal to 107.0259012 and then the next question is that calculate correct to the nearest whole number the diameter of the bowl so now we are yet we are yet to solve the actual question so the diameter of the book, and diameter as we know is two times the radius. This is a circle, and then here is the radius, and then full of this is the diameter. So in order to get the diameter, we are having a radius over here. So in order for us to get this in full, we have to multiply this by two, so that when we extend it, we are going to get it to be four. So the diameter. Is equal to 2r, like 2 times the radius. So 2 into 107.0259102. So this is equal to times 2. 214.051 is 204. So to the nearest whole number, we are going to get 214 centimeters. That is all for the diameter. Thank you for watching.